Hey everyone, Frank here. Uh, I'm here today to talk about something that's not an accounting topic, go figure. Um, I'm actually here to talk about a hunk of plastic that fixes an issue that I've had with the Nintendo Switch for probably going on two years now. And um, rather than explain it, I will just show you what my issue is. Uh, if you look, this is Gunbird 2. Uh, it's a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up game. One of the greatest games ever, by the way. Um, but if you'll notice, there's a lot of wasted screen real estate on the left and the right here. And that's what happens when you resize a vertical aspect ratio game onto a horizontal screen. Uh, you get what you think is the proper dimensions, but you lose out on a just a ton of usable space. And for somebody like me who doesn't have great eyesight or, you know, somebody who likes to really enjoy these old arcade games, yeah, this can be a deal breaker. Um, I've tried playing with the Switch in vertical mode, which basically you detach the Joy-Cons and you, you turn it sideways and you can change the display settings. But then you have to get a stand and you have to prop it up and it's just a, it's a total pain in the ass is what it is. Well... Fangamer actually came up with a solution to this called the Flip Grip. And what the Flip Grip does is fix this problem as elegantly and simplistically as you think it should. Um, I'll show you how it works. Basically, you pull off the Joy-Cons, turn the system sideways, and the Flip Grip slides on to the system this way. I will warn you, it's a tight fit. Usually it hits the volume rocker and makes it a little bit louder. If the volume cranks up too much, I'll go ahead and turn it down a little. Uh, but you simply slide it on. And with it attached, you can then put the Joy-Cons back on. Wait. There we go. With it attached, you can simply put the Joy-Cons back on. And now you have... A system that's in the proper aspect ratio for this these games and the last thing you need to do on most games is hit the minus sign to bring up the display settings um, a lot of games you just hit it and it will change it that way um, but in gunbird here we just hit it tap 90 degree rotation exit out and look there's gunbird being shown the way it's meant to be shown in a much more pleasing large vertical aspect ratio uh, one other benefit of this is, for whatever reason, the scaling with the system rotated this way doesn't have the same shimmering effects that it does in horizontal mode. So games like Gunbird and Strikers, um, basically all those shoot 'em up games, and a lot of other classic games as well, such as uh, Pac-Man, no longer have those weird, jaggy dot... It's hard to explain, like the, the glowy dot effects that aren't supposed to be there. The, the image just looks the way it's supposed to, and it makes the game a lot more fun to play. So I'm going to set this down here, and I'm going to show you one other game before I save this video and call it a day. So let's exit out to the menu here, and tick on over to Pinball Effects 3. I'll go ahead and start that up. I guess it would help if I selected my profile first. And most games will start up in horizontal mode, but there are some games that remember your settings when you've played in vertical mode. Uh, Pinball FX3 is one of those, as you can see here. And I will start up a game of Medieval Madness, because that is like the best pinball game ever made. And if you don't agree, well, you're probably wrong, but that's cool. So let's start up a game here. By the way, if you haven't played the uh, Pinball FX version of the Williams Tables, they're great. Any concerns I had about the physics being broken or just out the window, they did a great job with these. So we'll start a game of Medieval Madness, and as you can see, the pinball table fills the entire screen. You don't have to see the horrible fake universe backgrounds or whatever it is, like the... I don't even know how to describe it. It looks like a movie theater that got lost in time. They always use that for the backdrops of these things. 
Um, but yeah, here you can just set it to focus on the entire pinball table. And I do apologize for playing atrociously, but it's hard to record and, and you know, handle a million things at once. And you'll notice I am not playing this in classic mode. I am playing it in the uh, more up-to-date mode that has boosters and stuff on it. Uh, I just forgot to change the setting. I do tend to play in classic mode, but I've been trying to uh, unlock upgrades and all that other stuff because, you know, if you buy a game, you may as well get the most out of it. So I'll go ahead and do one more ball here, and then I'll call it good. And as you can see, I mean, it's everything's bigger and, and easier to see. And there are so many vertically oriented games where a piece of plastic like this can, can work wonders. And yeah, I know there are people out there who can 3D print their own stuff, um, but for whatever reason, nobody thought to actually make something like this um, until Fangamer and... Uh, couple of uh, enterprising individuals out there decided, hey, this was a problem that needed to be solved, and thank God for them, honestly, because uh, for 12 bucks, you know, this thing's, this thing's epic. I mean, it was designed for a purpose. It fulfills that purpose. I can't say anything bad about it. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It makes these vertically oriented games exactly as awesome as they're supposed to be. Uh, if you have uh, 12 bucks plus shipping to kill, head over on the Fangamer and, and buy this thing. I don't see how you'd be disappointed unless you hate fun, which I know there are enough people out there. Lord knows I've seen enough YouTube videos lately to make me think that uh, what's entertaining these days is just people griping and complaining about everything. Well, I got no complaints with this. It's awesome. See ya.